It was narrated by Sayyidina Anas that a woman came to Sayyidina Aisha radiallahu anha requesting something to eat. In those days, people would come to people's doors and ask them, I request things to eat. Sayyidina Aisha radiallahu anha gave her three dates. And listen to this hadith, very beautiful hadith. Um, she gave a date. So this woman, after she received, received three dates from Sayyidina Aisha radiallahu anha, she gave a date to each of the two children that she had with her and kept one for herself. The children ate their date. Now imagine that the child only has one date to eat, right? And the word in Arabic is called tamra, right? Tamra is opposite of rutab. Rutab is the fresh, uh, juicy dates, and tamra is the dry date. So the child ate, the children ate their dry dates, and then they looked at their mother, in a, you know, hungrily. So she took the date, the last date that she had for herself, split it in two, and gave each child half, and then she went away. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came and said that Aisha Radiallahu Anha informed him of what happened. So he asked her, what's so surprising about that? Because Aisha Radiallahu Anha was very surprised that this woman, she didn't eat the last date. She split it in half and he gave it to her children and she continued on without eating anything. So uh, the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala showed mercy to her because she had mercy on her children. Now a point that I wanted to explain over here is that we didn't say, we didn't translate that a woman came to say that Aisha Radiallahu Anha begging for something to eat. Because begging, even though it would be okay to say in this context, but we have we are supposed to show respect to the Sahaba. So this woman who came, she asked Sayyidah Aisha Radiallahu Anha for something to eat. We wouldn't want to, uh, you know, to to degrade her by saying that she begged. Although you know, there you know, begging is something which is acceptable in certain circumstances when you don't have something to eat. But a better word to translate would be requested, requesting something to eat. And uh, comment commentators explained that what the Rasulullah was referring to, لَقَدْ رَحْمَهَ اللَّهُ بِرَحْمَتِهَا is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave her, meaning saved her from Jahannam. So she would not go to Jahannam because of her showing this act of mercy to her children.